Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. You never pay attention the way you leave things. Hmm. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard to keep track of things. It's not like I have much to do with it. Right in this front pocket. And then you had to go and move them. Hey, Ken. So awesome. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I thought it. You never pay attention to the way you leave things. You know what? Can can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up. How you doing, Carter? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I You'll be alright. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Not like we have much to begin with. I understand. Wait, Lee? I remember when I packed them up, I said... What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Just look over there. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. Oh, man, check this out. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's not like we have much to begin with. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Check the glove box? I Lee, I come here for a second. Mm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. 
Can you just look over there? What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! <laughs> you all thought Duck was bitten? Well, I'm just doing the same thing. We know this guy's not gonna make it. This isn't happening! No more, please! 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 Ah! Ah!